Hey guys, Diamond Ice here coming at you with another video and today we will be bringing you how to install Gears of War for the PC. Now a lot of people have been having problems installing this game due to how the lack of support is right now currently because as you can see here even on the Amazon page, Windows XP, the Windows Vista, kind of that thing where it's kind of started. So here I'm going to show you today how to install the game. Now for, very for, foremost though, if there are two versions of the game currently, or actually three versions of the game currently. But there's only two of them that you can buy right now. So yes, you can try to find the original Gears of War copy here on it. Probably Amazon's your best bet for at least getting the official copy. I did get I did get mine used for like honestly around like sixteen bucks. So twenty bucks plus shipping over here doesn't it's not that bad actually. So that's the first version of the game. Now the second version of the game actually is from Gaming Dragons, another service. Now their version of the game is slightly different than the official one meaning because uh, they have its own special instructions that you need to follow because apparently their version of the game is updated, uh, is already fully updated. All you got to do is download their particular binary file to uh, to initialize the game. So I'm going to go over both versions, but uh, this version here I won't actually, I would give a little bit of information of because I don't have the game of that version. It's going to be hard to say, but... Uh, I'll definitely try to see if I can give you any information here. What I will say though, this version of the game, if you're having problems installing it, don't install some of the patches yet. Just re uninstall the game, uh, uninstall it through uh, this version or this little clean uh, cleaner I have, a program. This one's called CC Cleaner. This is definitely a very useful tool, especially in these days for Windows computers at least and some other things. Yeah, you can clean up particular old files and such and registry errors and things like that. But if you go under the tool section here, you go under un your uninstall and then look for your Gears of War thing and then just uninstall it if you're having problems and then just try and reinstalling the game again because that's the very first thing you should do is uh is to do that before you do any patches you do any updates things like that just install the base game first install that first now i said there's a third version and yeah uh if you manage to buy this game on the games for windows marketplace it's uh before it shut down you should be able to download the game and should be able to because it's under the associated account if you understand if you know which one it is so uh to, to the patches for the Windows version, the one, the, the official version, you have to go down to this link here, which uh, I'll, I'm going to put that in, this, in the description of this, this video. But if you go here, yeah, this error message will always show up here. And when you see right here, you cannot run the game with a modified executable code or please reinstall the game. They supposedly patched Epic Games at the time around maybe 2000. 10 i think they patched they finally patched it but uh, many of their uh download links if you decide to go like let's say here for instance it probably won't load there's nothing here and then yeah see it's just deleted already so you go under this link and go under look for a guy named this guy over here mkh2k9 he has all the updates in the media file download thing once you find this person go ahead and download it because you need to get that title updates especially for the windows version of the game that that game you need to have the patches and if you follow the order that he has it here the the exe files like this you should be able to run the game perfectly and that and that's how i did mine honestly and one other thing that you should also get is also the games for windows live client because that's how the uh the game is supposed to work because the game itself is still working uh, online and multiplayer wise but the actual marketplace shut down so if you go here under this link and down hit download here this is the marketplace client that you need to make sure that it's uh initializes through the game and you can actually still patch it and you can download things and such like that that's that's the one you need to download here so in order of these title updates it says it here he wants it this way so i have all the file i have the files here already Please extract, you have to extract it from the zip file because what you're, when you download it, it comes in a zip file here. So you need to extract it. So your favorite, pro, my favorite program to unzip files is definitely pzip, but WinRAR and all those other kinds of compression things can work too. 7-zip also should work with this particular uh, files as well. And once you extract it, you have these particular three files here. So follow it in the order that he has it in. So follow it. It says here, Gears of War title update exe. So this one here. And then Gears TU at EXE, so this one here, and then the, finally this one. After you patch all three of these particular, or after you install these patches, because it's just executable files, you can try run the game for the very first time, and should you should be able to uh, be able to get in and then sign in with your Microsoft Games for Windows uh, Live account. 
or honestly you could just use your xbox live account as well that you use for if you have an xbox and such like that so that's particular one definitely should help out for your patches and things like that that's the only thing you should be able to need with the thing uh, if you're actually having problems i would say though you can try and contact us and to see if you can decide whether or not you need to dis uh, get those things again but i think that should be it for patching wise though because Honestly, all the other guides, like this one here, this is one of the more, this is the one that's earlier. But yeah, if you looked under here again, yeah, you can't really, all these updates and patches are gone again. You can't find it. So this is the only forum right now that actually has it. And this is the only one that has it under the Mia, Media Fire account. So that one's the only one that actually should work. Uh, let's see, anything else to say? I think that should be it. Honestly, the Gaming Dragons one, just followed their instructions because the problem was with theirs. They have a, their, their game's already patched. But you need to go under their, uh, where it gets the game gets installed. So you go under your C drive, go under either program files or program files x86. You go under one of these ones and go find your Gears of War folder. It should be under the x86 though, unfortunately, if uh, if you decide to go here. So just, I just have a lot of stuff here, but it depends on how you do it. So mostly it should be under Microsoft Games and then go under Gears of War. And then this is where it should be at. And I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, it's under the binaries and then yeah, the EXE is here. The binary itself that you need to install the patch wise for the Gaming Dragons one is under here. So if you decided to patch or if you, if you use these other patches here on that Gaming Dragons version, the game will not run. It It's not meant to run on this particular thing. It's meant to run on the binary that it is given to you in the email instructions in there. Unfortunately, I can't show it to you because I don't have the game of that version, but it should... If you have any other problems, just uh, honestly, you should just let us let me know, and then I can try to help you out here. So thank you very much for watching, you guys, and hopefully this tutorial it will help you out and try to install this game. If you have any other problems or questions, just leave the comments down below, or help hit me up on Twitter at Diamond Rice, and I'll try to help you guys out. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.